By the time we finish this presentation in about five minutes, another 10 Americans will have been diagnosed with high cholesterol and will be aware of their elevated risk of heart disease. So don't feel too bad. You're neither alone nor unique in your quest to understand what's going on in your body and why you have high cholesterol. In the next few minutes, we're going to cut through about 40 years of medical mythology and explain how and why you get heart disease, how to avoid it, and even reverse it. We'll close by explaining how you can eliminate the primary causes of heart disease in less than about 30 days and maintain low risk for the rest of your natural life. I'm Mark Squibb, Chairman of the Whole Health Network and your guide to better health. We understand that this is a big agenda for so little time, so let's get started. First, we'd like to explain the structure of a cell. Cells consist of three major parts, the nucleus, the protoplasm, and the cell wall. Structurally, the cell wall is a layer of electrically charged lipids or fat molecules which separate the inside or protoplasm from the outside of the cell. When an infectious agent, virus, bacteria, fungus, or other pathogen attacks the cell, the membrane is assaulted with the disease's chemical arsenal, usually resulting in oxidized or rancid lipids or fats. In simple terms, these lipids that used to be part of a healthy cell wall are ruined and must be discarded. These damaged or oxidized lipid building materials bind to low density lipoproteins and return to the liver as LDL or bad cholesterol. In simple terms, your LDL cholesterol measures the systemic wrecking that your body endures under assault from disease pathogens. Many years ago, researchers recognized that LDL based fatty arterial deposits made up the majority of arterial plaque and jumped to the incorrect conclusion that these fatty molecules were the cause of heart disease. We'll discuss vascular plaque more fully when we talk about endothelial potholes and lysine. Chronic cellular damage creates a perpetual requirement for fresh building materials for your cells. Our body distributes new cell membrane lipids as serum, HDL, or good cholesterol. This continuous and fresh supply of materials is essential to our ability to create healthy new cells. Your doctor correctly recognizes that the ratio of HDL to LDL cholesterol is an indication of your vascular disease risk. Quite simply, the HDL-LDL ratio reflects the ratio of cellular construction to disease destruction. An ongoing destructive imbalance indicates vascular disease, usually driven by an infectious process. Elevated LDL cholesterol levels mean that cells are being destroyed at an accelerated rate, causing you to age more rapidly with wear and tear and a higher risk for vascular disease. In other words, HDL LDL blood levels are like construction traffic on the interstate. HDL levels reflect fresh materials from the lumberyard and LDL cholesterol is like trash trucks disposing of solid waste. In the next section, we're going to show you some surprising scientific results that will enable you to get and keep the edge against vascular disease. In May of 2002, a landmark study changed the landscape for treatment of high cholesterol and heart disease risk management. This study validated earlier work done by several worldwide research groups who had tentatively proposed that vascular disease was caused by some unknown pathogens. You can review this earlier work in the book entitled The Calcium Bomb by Doug Mulhall and Katja Hansen, available on Amazon. Briefly, the 2002 landmark holiday study started with 50 alcoholic men, 30 having elevated cholesterol and triglycerides. After only 30 days, only two of the 30 had high cholesterol and only four of 30 had high triglycerides. This equates to a 93% cure rate for high cholesterol and an 86% cure rate for high triglycerides using only mushroom sugars for therapy. But why? The study evaluated mushroom sugars, well documented in research and medical literature to enhance immunity. We believe that in line with Occam's razor, preferring the simplest explanation is correct, that improved immunity from these mushroom sugars enabled these men's immune systems to overcome chronic infections that caused their high cholesterol. Their better immunity enabled their bodies to overcome infections that were damaging their cells, quickly reducing both the cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Free from ongoing pathogenic destruction, their bodies heal quickly. This landmark study shows that immune competence is a surprising new key in the prevention of heart disease. In the 1980s, two-time unshared Nobel Prize winner Linus Pauling counseled a cardiologist friend 
then suffering from clogged arteries, to take large doses of vitamin C and lysine. Within only six months, that cardiologist's arteries were no longer clogged. Dr. Pauling had discovered a key, the lysine key, explaining why LDL plaque accumulates in our arteries. Lysine is a protein, and lysine receptors are exposed when endothelial cells lining our arteries are damaged. LDL cholesterol molecules are equipped with a mating lysine receptor enabling LDL cholesterols to patch arterial potholes. When the body lacks materials to properly repair these endothelial potholes, the patches pile up and we get arterial plaque, which eventually clogs our arteries. Dr. Pauling found a nutritional recipe to enable our bodies to reverse pothole patch accumulation. This simple recipe includes vitamin C, vitamin B5, and the protein proline combined with copious amounts of lysine to enable arterial clearing. Doctors Pauling and Rath have developed a food program clinically proven to reverse arterial plaque. It's inexpensive and we'll talk a lot more about it in a later presentation. Many people, mostly women, who've never been diagnosed with high cholesterol are often surprised to discover that they've accumulated dangerous amounts of arterial plaque. While high cholesterol is an obvious and easily measurable telltale for vascular disease risk, it's not the cause. Instead, we suggest that long-term immune system weakness is the critical factor in cardiovascular disease risk. The inability of your body to keep disease agents in check is immune competence, and is probably the most important telltale for your health. We'd like to introduce you to the complex sugars, or polysaccharides. Saccharides are large molecules that your body uses to convey immunological information. Until about 10 years ago, we thought that carbohydrates were just junk food, and we overlooked the critical roles that super complex carbohydrates can play in our bodies. Most of you probably know that table sugar is a simple carbohydrate. Table sugar weighs about 30 carbon equivalents, or Dalton units. Our body uses these simple sugars for energy, and our diets are seriously overloaded with simple sugars. These are well-known cofactors in disease. So it's a big surprise to discover that complex carbohydrates are powerful medicines. For over 50 years, we've incorrectly assumed that all carbohydrates were alike. Recent discovery of the roles that these carbohydrates play in cellular communication and immune function are turning many in the scientific community upside down. Over the past 15 years, we've discovered that these carbohydrates, liposaccharides and glycoproteins, play critical messenger roles in cell membranes, enabling our cells to intercommunicate. Many of these molecules are extremely complex, with sizes up to 200,000 compared to table sugar at 30. It's like comparing a case of beer to an 18-wheeler in form and function. Like sugar, the beer tastes good, but when it comes to doing work, the 18-wheeler gets the big jobs done. We've discovered three critical issues with these large polysaccharides. First, many of these elements are critical to immune function. Second, our industrialized food supply largely lacks these nutrients. And third, these two factors combine to produce compromised immunity for a majority of Americans. These complex polysaccharides are called immune modulators because of the critical role they play in maintaining effective immunity. While we're pretty sure that immunity isn't their only job, we know that an adequate supply has a huge and nearly immediate beneficial impact on health. Recent heteropolysaccharide research has nearly doubled the science of nutritional immunity. Many years ago, we discovered immune targeting molecules in breast milk. Mother's milk contains educated immune cells to help the young immune system recognize invaders. More recently, we discovered that these baby helper cells can also help adult immune systems more quickly identify and target disease. Our early research indicates that combining colostrum with polysaccharides creates a one-two seek and destroy immune response for accelerated disease recovery. We urge you to take your immune system seriously. We hope that we've provided some useful guidance to help you maintain and improve your health. Our research pretty clearly indicates that your natural immunity is the first line of defense for vascular and heart disease risk. 
we recommend combining mushroom-based polysaccharides with colostrums for the strongest natural immune system support. If you'd like to take a next step, we've built some queries to help you find products that match the science that we've discussed in this presentation. Just press the search button on this page to access some more resources for your own health.